These are the reconstructions of my winning 1.82 Pyraminx average at North American Champs 2022. So on the first scramble, I did uh, the yellow V, like R prime, L prime, E prime, L prime, to this L4 E, which is not a great case, but I don't mind it too much. Um, if I wanted to do something else, I could do green like that, but in really high pressure situations, um, like this average, I usually just go with the first thing that I one look and don't really think about anything else. So I did four tip, all four tips at the beginning, R prime, L prime, U prime, L prime, and then my L4E. And I kind of locked up like in here, but it wasn't wasn't bad. And then on the second scramble, uh, there were a lot of, there's a lot of blocks, but nothing really jumped out at me immediately as like a solution that I had to do or anything too great even. Um, I, I could have done like that, but I didn't really see that. Um, on blue, I could have done that. Which I think I was aware that I could do that, but I just didn't one look it because um, doing V's like that, a lot of times um, there's something better that I can find. I don't know if what I did is necessarily better than that, but you know, it, it got me a sub two average, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, I started off by doing these two tips, and then I solved the yellow V, or not the yellow V, the red V, by doing. L prime B L R, which is just twisting this center and then solving that block. And then I did an alternate alloc for this L4E. So normally I would have it at this angle, solve this edge with L prime U L, and then just insert this edge like that. But for this AUF, I know an alternate alloc where you solve this edge like that. And then you insert and that skips both AUFs and um, so that's the alloc that I did. So on solve three um, I'm pretty sure everybody did the two move blue layer like that. Um, the only difference in people solves I think was whether or not they did uh, the layer like that, then did U prime in this out, or if they did like that out, or if they did what I did, which was solve the V or solve the layer like that, and then do the LVL out. Um, I think what I did was the best because um, doing R B prime R prime is really really fast. Because you can just do it like that. And then once I'm done with the layer as well, my hands are already set up to do that out. So I don't have to re grip or anything. I can just do it all in one motion. Now, something maybe a little bit better, I realized I could do like several hours after the comp ended, um, was I could do some crazy pseudo stuff by doing. Uh, that but I don't even know if I'd be able to execute that any faster or if I could see that in inspection um, so it's not not anything I'm upset over not seeing especially since I got um, a 118 on the solution I did all right so on scramble four I didn't see anything uh, very good on this. Um, I saw that on, yeah, I think I had seen on yellow, I could solve a V by doing that, but that's a lot of moves. So I figured there was probably something better I could do. So I just kind of, uh, discarded that and started looking at other things. And I was looking around and there was nothing that I could really, um, like find that was too great. So I ended up just like kind of going with a panic solution. That was this for the V and rotate to here, do the L4E, which I did 
like that. Um, it's an alternate alg for this case that gets rid of both AUFs. And I like it a little bit more than the standard alg like that. Um, just because I find that I lock up a lot on the standard alg. Now, what I had seen from uh, Harsha's reconstruction video is he did the yellow V like that, which is actually like a really, really good solution for that scramble. So um, I definitely didn't pick the best solution there. And I cannot seem to get this right. Okay, there we go. So on the fifth scramble, um, I think I received the cube in an orientation like this, or after I did my obligatory I'm a two by two solver flips around the cube, I was in this orientation and I saw I could do three moves to this L3E. Um, and I didn't even think to do like the ML4E or anything. Um, I just kind of did R, B, R prime to the three cycle this way. And I think some people did U prime three cycle like that, but I know an alternate alg that gets rid of both AUFs here, which is L prime U L and then sludge. Um, other things that I could have like hypothetically done, but I would have like <laughs> never seen in inspection are um, L prime R L prime R U prime R prime L prime, which is just um, going to this case, but canceling into the ML 4 E. Um, and in that same sort of vein, there is doing like this, but I'm really not upset in any capacity over not seeing um, that I can do that because I don't even know if I could have executed those any faster than what I'd done. Um, but overall, a lot of alternate algs, uh, a lot of a lot of canceling both AUS, but a really really good average in the end.